Dear Esther, I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. But although I have all the reports and all the witnesses and have cross-referenced them within a millimetre using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. But although I can always see it in my rearview mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. I read that, but it, I didn't register what he said at all. What is this, though? Well, shit, now there's... Left or right? Should we go left or right? I have no idea. I'm gonna go left. And then again, the music? Gorgeous. But it's just the full package. It's the music, it's the atmosphere, the wind. What? Why is there... There's a ship down there. There's several ships down there. Or isn't that, isn't that a ship there? Kind of looks like a ship too. Should we? But that, that also leads to a pathway up there, right? Yeah, I'm gonna explore here. Oh, this just goes down too. Okay, everything goes to the same area. Oh, everything. Boy has kept me lucid. I sat when I was at the very edge of despair, when I thought I would never unlock the secret of the island. I sat at the edge, and I watched the idiot boy blink through the night. He's mute, and he's retarded, and he has no thought in his metal head but to blink each wave and each minute aside until the morning comes and renders him blind as well as deaf mute. In many ways, we have much in common. Are we talking about an inanimate object as a person? Are we slowly losing our mind? Seems like we are. Alright. Let's see what this is all about. What are these containers and that ship? What's going what happened here? More paint? Maybe we were thinner crazy. That's a thing, isn't it? Can we go onto the boat? Maybe we uh, we sniffed so much paint and thinner that that we became insane. I can't jump. So, I don't think I can go on the boat. There's definitely another boat there. Or is that a... No, it's a boat. There's probably nothing on the boat either. Hello? Right, then we're the only way for us to go is that way, I guess. I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Esther died? She died in a car accident? So we are not Esther. We are definitely the narrator. Yeah, 
There's a house. On the hill. Not that one. I'm not I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about that one. I've begun my ascent on the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the aerial and the cliff edge. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. What happened here? Excuse me? Or was someone playing Operation? Oh, that's a long climb up. It's a very long climb up. God, I can feel it in my calves. <laughs> my feet hurt. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not work. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him either. That's sad. So there was a disease. Three cormorants seen at dusk, they did not land. This house built of stone, built by a long dead shepherd. Contents, my camp bed, a stove, a table, chairs, my clothes, my books. The caves that score out the belly of this island, leaving it famished. My limbs and belly famished. This skin, these organs, this failing eyesight. When the battery runs out in my torch, I will descend into the caves and follow only the phosphorescence home. Wait, is this a different shed? This one is closer. Or is the same shed? No, it's different. What? What are those things? Um... down again. That's what he said, right? He had to ascend and then descend again. So we have ascended to that house and now we're descending downwards again. to live here. It seems cold. In a footnote, the editor comments that at this point Donnelly was going insane as syphilis tore through his system like a drunk driver. He's not to be trusted. Many of his claims are unsubstantiated, and although he does paint a colorful picture, much of what he says may have been derived directly from his fever. But I've been here, and I know, as Donnelly did, that this place is always half-imagined. Even the rocks and caves will shimmer and blur with the right eyes. Does this place even exist? Is this just a figment of our imagination? They found Jacobson in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves and had not even begun to decompose. All around him, small flowers were reaching for the weak sun. The goats had adjusted happily to life without a shepherd and were grazing freely about the valley. Donnelly reports they hurled the body in fear and disgust down the shaft. 
that I cannot corroborate this story. That is eerie. Also, this is a boat. What is that? Piece of paper? This is an old boat. Interesting. And we're heading towards another cave. So, climbing down to the caves, I slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves, winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Okay, so we slipped. This is just another dead end, but I wanted to... It's not just a dead end, there's books here. It's that same book, A Hebridean History. Huh? What does that mean? Is that an important book? I'd slowly start to think that... We are... Uh, this this place isn't real, and we lost our mind? This is just a memory of some sort that we... Uh, that we are putting together? Maybe... Maybe this is us dying... And reliving these moments? This is not a cave, it's a tunnel. Or is it? It is a cave. Why is there lights? Oh my god. There's a candle. Wow. 